Hello again, everyone. This is Arbiter. I'm just taking a bath on the Three Heart Challenge. Um, and I'm not really... I don't know, I just beat the Forest Temple, and if you don't believe me, you can look here and see the Fused Shadow. Um, and I don't know if you have played this game or if you have not played this game, but you can only get Fused Shadows out of dungeons, and... You get the first Fused Shadow when you beat the first dungeon, and the first dungeon just happens to be the Forest Temple. And so, if you don't believe me, there's the proof. But I, once again, somehow screwed the video quality up. So I'm still trying new things. Um, and I'm kind of, kind of in a bad mood because of how bad this program is. And I really need to buy an Elgato for $200, just a really expensive capture card. Um, but I'll try to make do with what I have, because I have made good quality videos before. I just don't remember how. But the H264 recording setting and blah blah blah, it's just, it's so complicated and I've never done this before. So I'm I'm a little little salty about that. But anyways, uh, aside from all that, I beat the Forest Temple. I got the dungeon item, the Gale Boomerang. It's one of my favorite items in the game, just because of how creative and unique it is. Oh boy. So anyways, I talked to the Light Spirit and I talked to Midna, and they were like, "Oh, you gotta do the thing and go to the place." So that's exactly what I'm gonna do uh, right now. And it is nighttime in Farron and in Hyrule. But Oh wait. Is that is that just the twilight? Okay, yeah, that's the twilight. So that glowing orange stuff over there, that's the curtain of twilight that enshrouds the Elden province. And I'm going to kill these Bacoblins cuz they're making me angry. Oh, oh, what? Did you see that? Oh! That is the coolest glitch! Okay, I'm so glad I'm recording, because I just literally just glitched up onto the wall just by getting hit. You have no idea how happy I am right now. I need the slingshot. Oh, this has made my day. I am just elated at this. I'm shooting the ground to see where I can walk because some of these textures 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 are only um, visible and they're not actually tangible so you can't like walk on them but as it seems I can walk on all of them um, and I'm really happy about that because as many times as I've tried to perform a glitch like that on purpose I just got it on accident without even thinking about it or trying or wanting to don't get me wrong, I totally want this. Like, in every way. I love these glitches. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and... That, yeah, that totally, definitely made my day. I lost a quarter of a heart, but I gained everything. I gained the world. Yeah, you know what? No. I'm Have some it. death! I just took your friend's heart. How do you feel about that? You don't feel because you're dead. Okay, so this has been a really interesting startup to this video. Uh, this is Hyrule Field, as it says. Um, and it's pretty. It's it's kind of sad in the dark. If you can hear the music, it's very, very sad sounding, kind of poignant. I'll let you listen to it for a minute as I run across the field. Rest in pieces.
And if you can see it up there, there is a heart uh, piece up there. I just wanted you to know that I know where it is and I'm purposefully not getting it because I'm a completionist. Most of the time I like to get all the heart pieces. I don't usually get all the other upgrades, but I like to get all the heart pieces and it's very hard for me to resist it. Are you serious? How did that hit me? Oh, I missed. That's cool. Thanks. It's kind of getting wrecked here in Hyrule Field. Yeah, whatever. You better run, you coward. Okay, this is crazy. I'm just stunned at all the happenings. Anyways, I guess it's time to go to Twilight. I don't remember which way I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go to the right. Oh yeah, because you go to Kakariko Gorge. Yeah, I want to show you guys just the first section of Elden Twilight before I end this episode. And to be honest, I need to stop recording right now to see if my video quality has returned or if it's still trash like the last one. <sighs> Which I shouldn't have to do, but I do. So that's unfortunate. And that's one of the uses of the Gale Boomerang. Is before you have other things, you can use- Oh, Ten roops for that. I want you to hear the Hyrule Field music though the actual daytime music, because it's really good. So before I run into the Shroud of Evil. Kind of big on the music. I love it. It's just, I don't know, it's inspirational, as it should be, being the music for one of the areas with the most fights in the game. Actually, yeah, almost all the most significant fights. Oh, it's the postman. What's up, bro? Yeah, I love this guy. He's hilarious. Go no further, there is a black wall ahead that blocks the way! I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier, known to some as the Postman. Now that I have introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. To read a letter, press start to open your collection screen, then select the letter. You can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it whenever you see fit. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. Thanks, Mr. Postman, sir. Thanks. He told me to go no further, uh, but he's just the postman. He's not my boss, so I'm not actually going to listen to him. Midna's my boss here. She's the real, uh, she's the real OG. She's the real person in control here. Um... The, yeah, there's honestly not much else interesting that I can do. The, here, here's the Wall of Twilight, as you saw in that one episode. So before I hop in, I'm going to stop recording. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's uh, let's finish talking to Midna here. We'll see what she wants. I think I may have resolved it. Uh, it looked okay. I think it looked a little bit pixelated. Um, which is okay by me. But I think, I think it looks a little bit better in this video format that I switched it to. For all you geeky people, which may be a lot of you or maybe none of you, I was, I was doing the MPEG-1 format, uh, and I switched to MPEG-2, and that seemed to make it look better, maybe, but I couldn't 100% tell, so... If anybody knows anything about those, that would be super cool if you could chat with me and say, Hey, look, bro, this is how this works, and you're an idiot, but this is how this works. And and if you could tell me, I'd be crazy grateful. But we're in Twilight again. We're in the Elden section of Twilight. We're in Elden <laughs> Province. And it's wolf time, which is very cool. I don't mind being a wolf. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, yeah, here we go. I honestly love the Twilight. It's 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 very unique by all means. He must have been behind me. It's a wooden sword. What? That's my wooden sword actually that the little brat stole. As disappointing as that is, um there's nothing I can do about it, and I have the Ordon sword now, so trying to get back the wooden sword wouldn't matter anyways, because the Ordon sword is better. But I've got to say, uh, that's a cool, um, what do you call it, mechanic as well, being able to, being able to follow sense. You do that several times throughout this game, it's a recurring, it's a recurring deal. But what I'm gonna do is follow the scent, the, the, the trail. Whoa, that's, I think that's Death Mountain up there. I don't know why you can see that. That's really weird. That's lava. <laughs> that's cool. I never noticed that. But you follow their trail to a little town up that way called Kakariko Village. That's under Death Mountain. That sounds kind of intimidating, to be honest. You're dead. And you're dead. So long, sucker! So when a battle takes less than five seconds, you know there's something wrong. Alright, and Midna's gonna tell us about warp portals, but basically, anywhere I kill those beasts, uh, there's a portal. I told you that, I think, the first time I got one. But you have to go, I believe, to North Farron Woods. So we're going to North Farron Woods. It might be in South Farron Woods, but I'm pretty sure it's in the North. For a reason that you shall- yeah, I was right. Basically, the bridge is out. Shut up. It doesn't matter! The bridge is right there! It's not that hard to see a gigantic piece of wood. Okay. Let's... This part is really cool because... Good little obedient wolf. Midna uses her magic to teleport an entire piece of a bridge, an entire bridge actually. Um, and that's gonna happen again. The Bridge of Elden does the same thing. And for any of you who've played Super Smash Bros. Brawl or Super Smash Bros. 4, Bridge of Elden is one of the stages. And in that stage, if you play on the non-Omega version, um, the, it's, it's, on, it's on like a, a flat bridge with no, with no edges on the sides. It's like a walk-off stage, but King Bulblin will ride through and destroy part of the bridge, which is kind of similar to what happens here. But that comes later in the game, much later in the game, in fact. Okay, um, here we are. See, just as I thought, Ihi. So, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? I would have to tell you, yes, it is. Um, but that's a little bit irrelevant. I remember the first time I did this part, for some reason it just sticks in my mind. It was not fun. I was totally lost. I didn't know what to do. And dead. Those guys are bubblins, the little... Actually, we haven't met Bulblins yet, have we? No, we haven't. Yeah, I think so too, Midna. I think you're right. I don't really care about you guys.
Okay, here's a Shadow Beast battle, and I'm probably going to cut this episode a little bit short. Because the next episode, we're going to start looking for Tears of Light. Or maybe I'll just get all the village tears and then do the mountain tears next episode. We'll see. I might just stop her. Oh, no, I messed it up. No, 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 no. I promise that's not what I need to do. No, stop! Let go of me! Oh, I hate these guys. Okay, whatever. It's Gucci. We're fine. That is the Light Spirit Elden. Of course, robbed of his power. Or her power, I can't remember. Can't really tell. The darkness now hunts me. Very cool. I like how the water is still glowing with light power, but just a little bit. So the tears of light are on my map now. I can officially go hunting for them. Uh, and cool story, I've got a fairy still. So even though I'm in wolf form and can't use items, if I die, it will instantly revive me. So that is a very, very cool um, additional thing. And since this part is a little bit more challenging than the last, and since I've already lost one of my hearts, I might get killed, and that'll just instantly revive me. So that's pretty sweet. There's some health, woo! It's really not easy to die. Oh, you know what? This part is really cool. Ha! <laughs> that guy's a jerk. Uh, he's very important, but his name is his name is Barnes. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish up this episode by showing you guys one of my favorite cutscenes ever. Um If I can remember how, oh, okay, yep. If I can remember how to get up here. All right, so this scene is pretty sad. It's, it's, um, I'm not even gonna try to explain it. Just, just watch. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, so that's one of the most whew, emotional scenes uh, in this early part of the game, involving Colin. Colin's a cool dude, and there's another very emotional scene with him later on. But, alas, for that is all the time that I've got for now. Yeah, how sad not to be noticed by someone when you're right in front of them. <laughs> So anyways, we'll come back and check this check this area out some more. Um, in the next episode, I'll be getting the Tears of Light in Elden. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then, and thanks for watching.